he did do things that hurt me or whatnot, you know? Wait, I'm like shaking because me just thinking about this kind of like upsets me, you know? Um, I should have left, but the thing is, I had nowhere. Hi everyone, it's your girl Lil Baby Lexi and I'm here to basically post this video, get it out to you guys so you guys know what happened or what's going on with me. This video is going to basically be like an update of everything that is going on currently and what has happened. Um, don't worry about the background noise, no one is using the bathroom, it's literally a waterfall for like the cats, so it's making that noise, you know? Anywho. Where do I even begin though? Like low key, I don't know where to begin. How about, how am I right now? Um, as most of you guys know, I just went through a breakup recently. Let me just say, honestly, since the breakup, I think it's already been like five days, right? Four or five days. Um, I feel great. Like, I don't want to sound like, oh my gosh, she's not crying over him anymore. She's not like this and that but at the end of the day like why am I gonna cry over someone that did not deserve me I've had other boyfriends but I've never really posted anyone like that you know because I've never lasted long with anybody it was always like maybe like a month and then it was done I know it looked like oh my god they're so great together you could actually tell like they're like in love with each other or whatnot right but behind the scenes there was a lot going on and I've already made a promise to him that I'm not gonna speak about what happened in our relationship But there is a couple things that are gonna be addressed in this video One, I'm gonna start working on myself, you know, I'm gonna get myself together I'm, I already have a gym partner So meaning I'm gonna start going to the gym more often And I'll probably make like a couple videos on that too or whatever But I'm gonna get myself right um, I'm gonna get my situation, my living situation right Meaning I'm gonna get a part-time job because as most of you guys know I did quit my full-time job which was working at a warehouse, but it didn't work out. It was just not what I needed for my mental health and a lot of other things like my mental health went so down when I was working at that job. I'm gonna start hanging out with friends um, because when I was in that relationship, I didn't really have anyone to talk to and after a while I felt alone and I felt like I was starting to feel trapped and he did make me feel trapped towards the end of the relationship like there was things that would happen and um, it just made me feel like I know I didn't want to be with him anymore but it was just like I couldn't say the words you know I couldn't say like I'm done with you or like you know I, I just couldn't do it you know, I should have I should have stood up for myself and said I'm done like I don't want to do this so if you see me out there hanging out with friends guy friends girlfriends don't matter let's just all mind our business all right because I'm not saying like oh I'm not moving on because I do not want a relationship let me put that out there I do not want a relationship until I'm situated with my life because once I get that situated myself situated I feel like maybe I'll be more better as a girlfriend you know because I'm not going to put the whole blame on him in the relationship. I had stuff that was going on with me and a lot of things that were bringing me down as a person and you know, I didn't do anything really except for just have a little attitude here and there or um, I, I would start an argument a little bit but it was over like little things you know. It wasn't even that major. He didn't deserve that part of me and I do apologize for that. I don't even know how to explain it because I'm not trying to like put him down, you know, as a person, but he needs time to grow. He needs to kind of like grow up and um, learn how to handle his aggression and just learn how to grow as a person. And I wish nothing but the best for him, honestly. I do not wish any bad on him, even though he did do things that hurt me or whatnot but yeah, I'm like shaking because me just thinking about this kind of like upsets me you know um I should have left but the thing is I had nowhere to go 
at the time. Um, I felt like he was my safe place because in the beginning of the relationship, it was all fine and dandy. It was perfect and it made everything that I went through go away you know? um, or everything that I was going through at that time because I got kicked out. I was losing people in my life. I was going through a lot. So he was like my, my backbone, you know, like I was falling on him. I was, I felt safe. And he was perfect in the beginning, but towards the end, it was like true colors started showing, you know, like true colors. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm not going to bad mouth him because there's this one thing that pissed me off. It's the fact that I don't know for sure if he was beating on my cat behind my back, but I have a gut feeling that he was because... Even in front of me, once in a while, if Shadow kind of did something, not even bad, Shadow's not a bad cat. Like, oh, we were giving him a bath, and I told him to just hold his weight because he's three-legged, you know? Like, he can't hold himself, he's going to slip. Shadow got scared because he picked him up like this, holding him in the air, and Shadow scratched him, and he slaps Shadow. He's hit Shadow a couple times, like, maybe three times in front of me and it was always hard like it was a hard hit he told me that he wasn't hitting him and obviously me being blindly in love or whatnot um believed him since we'd broken up i started thinking about it and i honestly thought about like what if he was hitting my cat behind my back though like you know like i'm not saying like the daily beating but like what if he was? Because honestly, Shadow is different now. Like, ever since I've had Shadow, Shadow's like only following me around. Like, he's scared. And it might be the environment that he's in because he's never been here really, you know. There's three more cats. But it's like, he's not like this with humans though, you know. Like, it's just normally he doesn't like animals. With everyone here, he like hisses at them. And if they try to touch him, he like freaks out and runs. He's not being a very nice kitty right now, like he used to be, but uh, he's getting better. I've been with him daily since I've had him, and I've been trying to comfort him and um, give him all the love I can right now, you know. And I can't keep him here, obviously, because there's three cats here. So I'm going to be sending him to my friend that has Shadow Sisters. My friend is going to be taking care of Shadow. I'm going to basically supply him with the food and like all that stuff for Shadow, you know? I'm going to be honest, the day that we broken up, I did cry. You know, I cried. Um, do not look at me like the bad guy because I'm not the bad guy. But I feel like I'm, I feel like kind of bad that like I'm not as hurt, you know? Like I was crying for like maybe like the rest of the night and then maybe like the next day in the morning a little bit you know but that was it ever since then i haven't cried mm, about him when i was crying i just like kind of started thinking about the relationship and how it wasn't good for me you know it's not what i deserved um it just wasn't good it wasn't good and i just thought about the things that he did do in the relationship and it just made me feel like i don't deserve that like i'm better than that like what the heck? Why am I even sitting here and crying over someone that did not deserve me? After that, I just like wiped my tears and I was like, the heck is wrong with me? But now I'm like full on better, like of doing my face, taking care of myself, starting to eat more a little bit here and there. You know, I'm trying to push myself to eat more. I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna get a job. Um, I'm already saving up for a place. Because as soon as I get my place, I get Shadow back. He's going to be with me, his mother that's going to love him, support him, and take care of him. But right now, it's like, I'm going to do me. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to get myself together. And then maybe down the future, I might, like, maybe want a relationship. I don't know, honestly. Like, right now, I'm like, eh, that's not even coming across my mind. I do not want that. I do not want labels. I do not want relationships. Nope, nope, nope. I might have, like, friends, and I'm okay with having friends. I would like to go on with my life and kind of pretend that me and him never happened. That I never posted him on social media, that, like... I don't even know who he is, don't know his name, don't want anything to do with him. Like, I just want to go on with my life 
and kind of pretend it never happened. Don't even explain myself. Like, I don't want to seem mean. Like, I don't want to seem like, oh my god, I never cared about him. Because you know what? I did. I full on did. But after his true color started like slowly coming out, it's like I lost respect for him. I lost love for him. And I was losing myself because of him too. With everything going on, I was already losing myself. But he was kind of keeping me happy in the meantime, you know? And then it just kind of like... And um, like I said, two hurt people will never mix together. Um, if you guys have any questions, just put it in the comments and I'll try my best to reply to you guys all and try to like fill you in. Like I said, don't look at me like I'm the bad guy because I'm not. I didn't do anything really except for just attitude, but I feel like everyone has attitude, you know? I feel like I wasted time and I feel like I wasted my time instead of getting my stuff situated I was wasting my time to try to keep someone else happy so don't do that ladies this is a lesson learned and I love you all and I will be back with another video like I said if you have any questions put it in the comments and if you're not subscribed subscribe right now like what are you doing what are you doing but I love you all bye